Gout affects over 15 million people every single year here in the United States, and that number is slowly rising. If you've never had gout before, I definitely don't recommend you getting it because it can be quite painful. The biggest reason that people get gout is because their bodies make too much of a certain substance known as uric acid. The uric acid levels in the body can build up and actually form little crystals that are super pokey and damage the surrounding tissue, leading to inflammation and that classic presentation of gout that some of us are more aware of than others. So why does the body actually make this uric acid stuff? Well, uric acid is the byproduct of the breakdown of alcohol and sugar. The more sugar or the more alcohol that you consume on a regular basis, the more the liver will break down the sugar and the alcohol into uric acid. Also, the more alcohol that you consume overall, the less that the kidneys will be able to filter out this uric acid, leading to higher levels of uric acid within the body. The fancy medical term for elevated levels of uric acid within the body is known as hyperuricemia. So if you want to reduce your chances of getting gout overall, especially doing it in a natural way, I definitely would recommend reducing or cutting down the amount of alcohol and the amount of sugar that is placed in your body every single day. So when I talk about sugar though, not all sugar is created equally. Added sugar or sugar that is placed into food products not naturally found in the food themselves is present in about 75% of all the foods located in your average grocery store. The recommended daily limit for added sugar is no more than 25 grams per day, but the average American consumes three to four times this amount. A lot of the added sugar has higher concentrations of fructose rather than glucose. Now it's not really important to know the chemical structural differences of glucose to fructose, or the minutia within that, but essentially the important thing to understand is that fructose is more toxic to the body and actually causes about seven times the amount of oxidative stress on the body rather than regular old glucose. Fructose is the biggest culprit for insulin resistance and also the driving factor for worsening levels of gout. Some examples of fructose are things like pop or soda, candy, cookies, ice cream, essentially all the really good stuff that is delicious and what we wanna consume more of. Eating things that contain higher amounts of fructose will place more oxidative stress in the body. This will lead to general unhealth and also worsening levels of gout due to that buildup of uric acid. And as we saw earlier, more uric acid leads to an increased production of those little pokey crystals that can be quite painful and cause a lot of inflammation. Something that I think is important is increased uric acid levels will lead to higher blood pressure in the body as well. Therefore, we typically see those individuals who struggle with gout also struggle with hypertension or high blood pressure. High uric acid levels in general also do a couple of other nasty things within the human body. They prevent ourselves from producing enough energy or producing it in the right way, making our cells less efficient overall. This leads to a higher workload overall and causes your liver to go into overdrive, leading to fatty liver. This increased fat production within the liver also sends a signal to a specific place in the brain known as the hypothalamus, which leads you to crave more sugar and consume more sugar, leading to worsening buildup of uric acid within the body. This creates this vicious cycle, whereas the more sugar you consume, the more your liver breaks the sugar down into fat. That signal is then sent to your brain, wanting your body to consume more sugar, and then you consume more sugar, leading to more uric acid buildup, leading to unhealth overall. So you can see how quickly unhealth can happen by just consuming a little bit more sugar and a little bit more sugar each day. It eventually spirals out of control. This can easily cause sugar addiction as sugar is a very and highly addictive substance, and so it's really important to be mindful of how much sugar you're putting in your body 
every day. So in summary, if you want to reduce your likelihood of getting gout in the future, or if you have gout and you wanna lessen your symptoms overall, it is imperative to make sure you're not eating more than 25 grams of sugar per day. And it's also important not to consume a lot of alcohol on a daily basis. Again, not doing these things at all is quite difficult, so I recommend staying below that 25 grams of sugar per day cutoff and I recommend drinking fewer than four total drinks per week. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, everyone, I will see you on the next one.